Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another exciting episode today. We're going to do another of our vacation photo rescues. By the way, if you haven't already sent me an image, you can send it to vacationphotorescue at gmail.com and we'll try and include yours in one of the future episodes. But today we've got quite a challenge. I've got a very blah washed out image that I'm going to try and transform into something nice. Might work, might not but I think it's going to be a lot of fun either way. If you don't already have Luminar AI, there is a link below in the description. I'll also give you a discount code you can use if you decide to purchase it and you can get a little bit of a discount. You know all the usual stuff. Please like, please subscribe, do all that stuff. Go ahead and do it now. Get it out of the way so you don't have to worry about it and you can enjoy the video. But once all that's done, we're ready to get to it, so let's roll the intro. Okay, here's the image that we're going to use for today's photo rescue. Uh, you can see it's just a little, kind of a, a little window on a small street. And uh, it's got some ivy or some sort of plant growing there in the window. And it's a very nice scene, but it's kind of flat and dull. We need to do a lot of tweaks to the exposure and color and that type thing. And then there's a few kind of distracting elements that I would love to get rid of. Um, like maybe these wires up here and these two boxes. So what we're going to do is take this into Luminar and see if we can transform this blah vacation pick into something with a little more impact. So first thing we're going to do is make a copy. Call this LUM for Luminar so we know what we did. We'll have it on its own layer here so that we can get rid of it later if we're not crazy about it. But let's go up to Filter. Luminar AI. Okay, so we're going to start up here and edit. And you know, as I've mentioned before, I always like to repair, then enhance. So first thing I'm going to do is go through and repair things, like get rid of these uh, distractions. And we're going to try to do that with a couple of different tools, either Erase or the Clone tool. All right, let's try it with a really small brush, like a 10. Come in here and just really be as close as we can to the edge. Okay, now we use a little bigger brush in here, fill it in. Let's try this first, where we've been pretty loyal to the edges there. Let's hit erase. That didn't work at all. So let's try the opposite. Let's be a little over the edge, like that. Fill it in, hit erase, cross our fingers. All right. That I can live with. We've got a little bit of this repetition thing going here, but we will fix that when we come back in with cloning. Here's the next thing we're going to do is this box. And it's going to be a little trickier. We're going to only kind of going to get one shot at it because we won't really be able to undo this without undoing the other one as well. So let's just hit it, see how close it gets us. Okay, not bad. It's cloned this... Um, little shutter down here which we'll just um, have to take out but that's an easy enough fix so let's head down let's hold on on that little cable for a little while let's go ahead and finish up these bottom two and switch to clone so the first thing I want to do is get rid of this and I'm just gonna put some more of this stone on top so we'll keep it soft full opacity um, Let's see what size brush we have, probably about like that. Then I'm just gonna pick a spot over here somewhere, option click, and then we'll just paint over that. Just like that, I think that works great. Now let's go to work up here. And so we will try, let's try from over right here in the center, like right about here, click. that works and then maybe we'll click down here and start painting up like that and you just kind of have to go back and forth a little bit until you're happy with what you have and I think that's pretty good we've gotten rid of it um, let's drop out of that and look at our before and after I think that works okay I mean we could have this line going across there if we wanted to have um, a little more of a border we could try that and see what it does. Need a really small brush. And 
I'll just come right down underneath that where that line would be. I think that's going to be too much. And I did Command Z to get rid of that. Let's take the opacity down. Try it again. All right, I think that's okay. Probably just dodge that area down a little bit. We'll just do it right now. Go ahead and switch to Dodge and Burn Darken. And I think we can just, nope, that's way too much. Let's bring the strength way down. Get a little smaller brush. Much better. So there we go. We fixed these two pretty much. Uh, we need to deal with this up here. I'm going to use my little circle here on the tablet to zoom in a little bit. Let's get up here so we can see what we're doing. And let's try erase first with a really small brush. Go down to like 10. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. Maybe we start with this part. Start with the really easy parts, <laughs> like this. Let's see what that does. Let's just hit erase. Okay, so far so good. Let's do a few more pieces through here. Hit erase. Just doing a little bit at a time so that if it messes something up, I don't have a big area to repair. Uh, erase. Okay, this is going to be tricky through here, but let's just try it. Let's just highlight both of these, hit erase, see what the software comes up with. Not bad, not bad. This part ought to be okay because it's kind of floating in space. Back to here, hit erase. It's getting a little smudgy through there, but um, we'll come back and clean that up. Let's get rid of this black in here. Hit erase. Okay, maybe this. Just getting rid of as much as I can. It's kind of a slow, tedious process. All right, I think we've gotten it pretty close there. Let's close out of this and come back down to our clone. Zoom back in a little bit. All right. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have my opacity at 100, softness at 100, and see if I can, with a small brush again, let's go down to 15. I'm going to hit Option to select this little intersection. And then I'm going to come up here, and just kind of paint over it. Here we go. Do the same thing um, right here. We'll Click that little intersection, and then come right up to here. Not perfect, but then I can just come right through this thing and erase what I don't want. Okay, I kind of went too far on that one. That's all right, we just kind of keep going back and forth until we got it how we like it. There we go. All right. Maybe even take off that edge a tiny bit. All right, I am happy with that. I think that works nicely. So, drop back out of here. Let's look at the overall. Let's go to the before and after. Much better without those distracting elements like that. All right, now let's get to the fun stuff. Let's go, um, first off, I want to go back and look at the overall exposure. I think it's a little overexposed, so let's go into light. I probably would have should have done this first before I did that cloning. I didn't think about it, so let's bring this down a little bit. One thing I can do is hit J and keep an eye on, you can see here, the uh, it'll turn blue when we start having areas block up. So you can turn that off and on with J. So that's a nice way to know when you've gone too far. I don't think we're going to need to go anywhere near that far. I'm just kind of waiting to get the midtones like that and also kind of bring down these highlights, which we can also play with right here. I think that's pretty good. Maybe we need to go back up on that exposure just a touch. All right, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Now let's start going through and really trying to tweak this thing. So we'll come into Enhance. 
boosting this over. And like I said, I like to go all the way over and see what that looks like. That's a little too cartoonish. But I think a nice little punch like that, that's around 25, 26 works. Come into structure. And we're going to boost this. One thing you can do is just kind of go all the way over to the side. And you kind of see that's the extreme version of it, which we don't want. But uh, we're going to give it a little bit of a boost, maybe about like that. Okay. Um, details on this one might work. I don't know that we need to mess around too much with the details. You can try amping those up, but I kind of like that this thing kind of has a soft painterly type thing vibe to it. So I'm probably just going to leave details alone for now. We can play with landscape. Dehaze isn't going to really be an issue, but take a look at it. Kind of bring stuff down a tiny bit. I think it made that door look better. We can bring in this golden hour to warm things. And then because we've got the greenery here, we'll definitely try and play with the foliage enhancer. We just got to decide, do we want that green to jump out like that? I just want it to have a little more pop than it does. So there's where we were. That's nice. All right. Vignette. I think we can use a little bit of vignette. And let's just go with the choose a subject. Pick the center. Start dragging this this way to darken. And again, you want to go to the point where you can't see it. Like I can still see the vignetting there. I bring it back till it looks like right now it kind of looks like it's all disappeared to me. But if you do the before and after, you'll definitely see it. So I like that better. Happy with the vignette. Not too much sky, atmosphere. We're not really interested in adding any fog or anything to this necessarily. We can play with the dramatic. And again, you just kind of boost it up. It takes away that saturation and gives it a little more kind of a contrast and sharpness. I like to add a little bit to it, but then you almost have to come back in here and boost that saturation to recover it back. Let's see, there we go, before. After and you just got to kind of every step of the way decide if you're happier um, where you ended up. And on this one, I think I'm going to pull this back a little bit. Not as happy with that. That's better. All right, I think we're making progress. Mood is our chance to go through and really drastically play around with these lookup tables. And as I've mentioned in other videos, this is kind of one where you just kind of go through. Now see that Anaheim works nice. I like that really warm tone that it's giving it. And you kind of just look at these and you can't really even go by the name. I don't know where they've come up with some of these names. I kind of like that sepia. Memphis. And there's not really a right or wrong answer. I've probably passed one that one of you thinks is fantastic. I kind of like this Anaheim the best, honestly. I'm going to pick An Anaheim, and I want to do the before and after and try and decide here, did I like what I had better, or do I like the Anaheim better? And so um, here's the before, here's the after. Do we like that warmer? I like that warmer look. Um, I'm going to go with it. Let's keep that Anaheim mood. Mystical might work on this one. It, you know, it kind of gives us this kind of blurry, almost painterly type effect. I think that might actually work really nice here. Uh, the trick is going to be deciding how much to dial in and out. So I think that's a good amount. Again, let's check the before and after. It's just taking some of the detail out. I like that. Don't have any of this portrait stuff. All right, so now we are down to the final two things, which are going to be dodge and burn and super contrast. And I would probably start with super contrast since we're kind of universally affecting this thing. Start with the highlights bring that I like to bring it up probably about 25 to 30 range right in there and then kind of play with do you want to go this direction with the highlights back that way lighten things up I think we want to just add a little bit of sparkle to the highlights same thing with the midtones try that direction I definitely like the lighter side shadows try that nope I don't like that Kind of opening up the shadows with that. Again, let's look at our before and after. I'm not 100% sold on it. I might just pull all these down just a little bit. Bring them all back a little closer to zero. Now let's try it. 
Okay, very subtle, but it gives it a little more punch through there. So now what we want to do is come down to dodge and burn. And I think this is going to be a really good opportunity to, to tweak this thing even further. So let's start on darken. I've got a pretty good sized brush at a really low strength, like I got it at seven, soft. And first thing I'm going to do is come down to some of these areas down here that need to be darkened, like this step. We don't want as much attention being drawn down in this area, so we're just going to darken it a little bit, even the side of this door along the top. Darken this area. Again, we're almost kind of just adding another vignette to it. And then we'll come back in here in some of these dark areas. I'm going to need to get a little smaller brush. And just bring a little more extra shadow. And I'm also going to do with an even smaller brush, I'm going to bring this up to maybe around 20 or so. I'm going to come into these shadow areas in the plant and darken these down. And you'll see in a second what this is going to do because I'm going to go back and do the opposite by lightening the lighter areas. So right now I'm just kind of darkening already dark areas in this plant. I'm going to zoom in just a touch so you can see what we're doing. All right, then we'll switch to lighten. Bring that brush size down a little bit so we can work with the leaves, bring the strength down to. 25 or so. Now I'm going to go through and just kind of touch on these lighter areas. To make, I'm making the, basically the lighter areas a little brighter and the darker areas a little darker. And that's going to create a little more depth to this thing. You can already see it kind of starting to take shape from what I'm doing here, but you'll really see it here in a second when we do the before and after. And again, these blown out areas don't need it as much. It's more just some of these areas. Okay, we could even do the same thing along maybe the highlight on here, just above each of those. All right, pretty happy with that. Let's look at the before and after. There it goes. There's off. There's back on. There you go. You can see it just makes those flowers pop out just a little bit more. So that's going to work just fine. All right, let's pop back out here. Take a look at this overall. I'm pretty happy with that. I only thing I might go back do to go back and do is a little bit more in the color and just play up the saturation a little bit more. Give it a little more of a rich color. Maybe even pop that vibrance a little bit. Just don't want to go too far. Let's look before. After. Very subtle. But I think that is better. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with what we've done here. So we will hop out of here. I don't think there's any other things to do on this image right now. Let's go ahead and turn this on. And here's our before and our after. And didn't take that much time. And wow, I think that's a night and day difference there. I'm a little bugged by that little, uh, I guess it's maybe a doorbell or something there. Let's go up here to erase. Get a little small brush. And this ought to be an easy one for it. Hit erase. Perfect. And I want to go kind of crazy here. I'm going to do one last thing. A little bit smaller brush. I'm just going to, this light flower, or this light leaf is bugging me just a little bit. So I'm just going to clone that out. Okay. And actually, one last thing I would probably do here, which I've said a million times, one last thing. This one's really the last thing. Is I've noticed that we got some cloning here from, um, it's copied those things over. So uh, we got some repeating cloning. So I'm going to get a little small brush here, and I'm just going to... Hit uh, option here, and I'm just going to clone that out like that. Hit that. There. there we go. So we don't have two of those because I think that's <laughs> looks a little off. Now we're ready. Hit apply. And there you have it. Here's our before and the after. I mean, it's, 
night and day. It's not even comparable. But we have definitely rescued this terrible vacation picture. And um, I think we've got a much better thing to work with here and much happier with the result. And um, I think it came out great. There you go. That was a tough one. But I really think we improved it a lot. You know, some of the cloning and cleaning up some of those areas, I would probably spend a little more time doing that, but to keep us from having a half hour video, kind of pushed on through it. But I think you still get a pretty good idea of the type of stuff that we can do. And even with the kind of so-so clone work there, still ended up with a fantastic image compared to where we started. So again, if you've got an image that you'd like to submit to this, send it to vacationphotorescue at gmail.com. Just set up that email account specifically for you to send me some of these images, and I will try and work on them in future videos. But leave me a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the transformation, any things that we could have tried, maybe some of the other tools within Luminar that you think would have benefited it. I'd love to hear about that as well. But that's all we have for this week. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.